I need muscle. Here we go. <laughs> okay, pause. <laughs> hey, guess what I have here? This is a jackfruit. Have you had jackfruit before? If not, you should definitely give it a try. So what I have in front of me is a 15 pound jackfruit. Oh, it's a little heavy, but I like them big. How do you know they're ready? You can look at it by these little eyelets. You can see the brownness on the tip of these eyelets. They look like one of these spikes, but they don't really hurt you. Also, you, when you push down with your finger, it gives. Okay, and another way, what you can do is, maybe not in the store, but smell it like this. And it has the smell of, I would say, a sweet cantaloupe. So that's how you know they're ready. So what do we need? We need a knife. This is good enough. We need oil. I have avocado oil here to uh, put on my hands and the knives. And I also have this paper that I've uh, taped down on my countertop so that the sap part doesn't get sticky to it. But you can use anything you want. There's also a couple ways to cut the jackfruit. The first way is you cut it this way, the horizontal way. I've seen where it's cut this way, vertically, cut it this way in half. But what I'm doing today is something different. It's a spiral cut and I've never done it before, but I've seen it done. so. Let's see if it actually works. I'm taking the oil here. Rub my hand to prevent any sappy, sticky part to it. You want to oil your knife. Be careful, don't cut your fingers. So we're gonna start here. Go around and round and round, okay? So first poke. And you don't have to cut it in that deep because you're gonna end up pulling the skin off. Oh, this is pretty cool so far. All right, let me go ahead and make a little knot there. Stick my hand in to pull it. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, let me cut the top. This is my first time trying it this way. But you're supposed to pull it out like this. Well, let me just cut the tip here. I like to experiment, as you guys know. Let me just cut all the way around here. And I need muscle. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe I need to cut more. It's not happening. <laughs> progress so we cut these like this and this is the jackfruit itself here this is the fruit you take it out from all these little membranes and it smells like cantaloupe smells really good wow it's really really sweet and you know what's in here are the seeds don't throw the seeds away because you can boil it and eat it and with this jackfruit itself it's great for dessert great for vegans to eat their jackfruit like how we eat our meat. But anyway, it has a lot of use to this. So obviously my experiment did not work, so I'm going back to my traditional way of cutting it. I just went ahead and cut this in half. This is how the inside of the jackfruit looks like. Inside is the core here. And then the pods of the jackfruit, the actual part are these things that you eat. And these uh, little extra chinks, you do not eat. It's just some protections of the pod. So we're gonna cut this in half and then another half and continue to cut. Cutting in half here through the core. And be careful, the knife is a little oily. Gets a little slippery, so don't hurt yourself. And then we're gonna cut this again to this other half. And then from here, I'm gonna remove this core part so I can pull out the pods. Okay, I'm just gonna cut through the core. Slippery. 
And then now you start looking, seeing your pods, pull it and put it aside. Seeds, goes in a separate bowl. We'll boil that and we'll eat that like peanut, you know, your boiled peanuts, that's how you would eat it. So this is uh, for me an easier way to do it than to do this fibro way. I'm sure it works because other people have done it, but I must have done something wrong. Finally, towards the end, I'm gonna show you the best part, okay? When you open your jackfruit, you will find this beautiful pot of jackfruit. The color has a goldish, yellowish, oranges that indicates sweetness and perfectly ripe inside these little things here. Okay, but don't forget to remove the seed. Just open it up, the seed will come out, put it aside, remember you can boil that and then just remove this, the seed pods, the shell that holds the seed and then you just put them aside. This is 15 pounds of jackfruit that I have peeled and opened. Is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it! Because it's so good, so delicious, you can freeze it, and make smoothies out of it. You can make into some kind of uh, vegetarian dish, into some kind of stew or anything because this is meaty and it's just so sweet. The shape looks intimidating, the size looks intimidating, the spiky part looks intimidating, but it is not that difficult to open. You should give it a try, so let me know what you think.